So as you probably know, Google recently announced unified storage for Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Plus Photos. So whether you're a Gmail or Google Apps user, you don't need to manage different storage amounts for the different products. If you're approaching the storage limit for Gmail or Google Apps, I'm just gonna show you a really quick tip for maximizing your storage. So like a lot of you guys, whenever I receive a image into my Gmail account, I always add it to Google Drive because I use that as my default storage mechanism. So for example, I have this picture here from Google I.O. So I want to add this to my Google Drive like I always do. So I'm just going to right click it and then save my image to Google Drive. So this is great because I can, whenever I'm looking for a picture, I can just go into Drive and find them all there. But the one problem I have is that these photos will now be double counted in Drive as well as Gmail. So that doesn't really seem like a big deal, but over time that may add up, especially if you're adding a lot of pictures at once. To identify those messages where I have a picture but I've already added it to Google Drive, I'm just gonna locate the larger images by using a really easy Gmail search operator. So if you click on the search bar at the top of your screen and type in size, colon, and then I'm just gonna use one megabyte to find these image files. So I can see I have a few messages here that I can probably go ahead and delete because these messages were from a while ago and then I know that these are photos that I've already added to Google Drive. So I'm just gonna select all here and delete. So that's just a quick way to clear up some storage inside of Gmail. If you guys have any questions about this unified storage feature, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.